Back on July 8th, some flights at JFK Airport were delayed in some cases up to an hour and a half when over 78 turtles came out of the water and crawled onto the runway, keeping the planes from being able to actually go along it. Now, KHS-TV was able to obtain audio from the control towers during this turtle invasion and was also able to get exclusive footage of one of the turtles on the runway. Take a look. Another turtle picking up on the up the of it. Is he, uh, is he walking towards the uh, duty runway? I think he's running. Say again? He's running towards it. Now, with all this turtle mania, we thought it would be a great time to team up with the Forsyth Nature Center and let all of you know just a little something about turtles. Have you ever seen a turtle and wondered just what's under that shell? Well, the Forsyth Nature Center had the inside scoop on the matter earlier this month in one of their latest programs called Turtle Talk. The program revealed some pretty interesting information about the turtle beneath the shell. For starters, did you know that turtles have not only one shell, but two? What's interesting about a turtle's skeleton, which I've got here, you can see uh, every turtle, of course, has the two shells, their top rounded shell, the carapace, and the lower flat shell, which is their plastron. Uh, on the inside of their body, of course, they've got their spine and their ribs. They've got a full skeletal system, and those bones together are fused to make their uh, inside of their shell here. And you can see this on the inside of our snapping turtle shell. The snapping turtle shell, you'll see, of course, the spine and the ribs fused. Uh, of course, the top of the shell here, you'll see, is a lot smoother. You don't see this, the bones exposed, uh, but it's covered in keratin, which is what our nails and our hair are made out of, creating that nice hard shell to protect the turtle. Uh, this is a painted turtle shell that I've got here, uh, which actually shows the two parts of the shell bridged together and connected on the side, which all turtles would have those two shells, of course. Um, this one's got beautiful designs on it. This is a western painted turtle shell, which we don't have around here, but we do have eastern painted turtles, very commonly found basking uh, in ponds and lakes. The Nature Center is home to a variety of both land and aquatic turtles, all of which were either rescues or abandoned pets. All species have adapted features to survive in their natural environment. For the aquatic turtles, it's webbed feet. For the woodland turtles, it's longer claws for walking through the brush. Speaking of turtle feet, did you know that turtles actually detect sound through their feet? The pads on the underside of their feet help to pick up vibrations that let them know what's going on around them. In addition to their adapted feet, not all shells are created equal either. While some turtles, such as the box turtles and the painted turtles, can curl almost all the way inside their shell, others, such as the snappers, can't quite fit in all the way. Instead, they prefer to have a field day with their powerful chompers and leave the ducking and covering to burt the turtle. However, life's not all fun and games for the turtles. Silly does not know how large he is. So when it comes to getting food on the far side of a log or a fence, he and other turtles will keep walking and keep walking and keep walking, despite the fact that they will never get through. Needless to say, a fairly significant dilemma for a turtle. The same can be said for turtles in the road. Every year, thousands of turtles are killed while trying to cross roadways. Here's what you do if you happen to encounter a turtle that is trying to cross the road. Step one, stop your vehicle and exit it to assess the situation. Please dismount your bike. What? Please get off your bike to assess the situation. Step two, note the direction in which the turtle is traveling. This is important because if you put the turtle on the wrong side of the road, there's nothing stopping him from walking back into the road. Where are you from? Kingston. How'd you get here? Who are you? Did you know that turtles don't wear seatbelts? I would imagine. Step three. Determine whether or not the turtle is a snapping turtle. If it is a snapping turtle, you will want to use a stick or some other shovel to move the turtle to the side of the road. Even if the turtle is not a snapping turtle though, you still want to use caution while moving your turtle. Step four, once you have successfully moved your turtle to the side of the road, stand by and make sure that he is, is, that he is going to be okay. And now that you've saved your turtle, you can feel good about the job that you've do just done. And remember to wash your hands. It's good doing business with you.